Hi everyone and welcome back. You may recall I've previously reviewed the Tag Heuer Connected Watch, but I was on holiday recently in America and popped into the store to have a quick look around and saw that they've released a couple of new versions since I last reviewed it. So I thought I'd give it a go in the shop and yes, as you can probably guess, I've now decided to purchase one and actually I'm really happy with it. But I wanted to kind of take you on the journey. I, I reviewed it previously and there's a link in the description above and I wasn't too flattering about it to be honest. It just really didn't seem worth the money. But now I've had a, a chance to reconsider. Um, I also was on holiday so I managed to get it considerably cheaper than I would have done in the UK. But I thought I'd take you through what I think has changed and what I think they could still improve. Um, so here we go. As you'd expect with TAG, the uh, packaging and wrapping is of a, a premium quality. Inside the box you've got your general quick start guide and then your uh, instructions and your guarantee with it. You've got the watch itself in the case and then just down below you've got the plug socket and a really unnecessary Tag Heuer branded microfiber cloth. Uh, the box itself magnetically sealed, pop it open, inside you've just got the charging puck in its case there and then the watch itself. So the watch itself, um, I suppose it's been updated a little bit. There's a few more features that we're going to get into on the way. I think the important thing is the always on display, whereas before it would continuously be off and the rise time to get the screen alive was a bit slow. Now they really have fixed that and it's um, really, really responsive. Simple class brand at the back um, and obviously the straps are very much interchangeable. Um, I don't need to tell you how to put a watch on. It's fairly, fairly straight, simple and straightforward, um, but it feels nice. I, I went for the rubber strap simply because of uh, it just works better for me rather than the metal ones. Sort of my real dislikes when you compared it to an Apple Watch was simply just the, the screen was almost always off, whereas here you can see even when it's in its low power mode, there is still a visible display and the rise time to get it to awake is, uh, is really quite good. Just showing you just how easy it is to change the straps there. It literally is just one clasp, one clip, and they come off. And then you've got a various functionalities on the side. So just a setting screen by scrolling up, and then by scrolling down, your notifications are there. So really easy, really simple and straightforward to use. I also didn't like the app connectivity. I use an iPhone, and that caused me a lot of problems last time in connecting it. They really seem to have done a lot of work in the app. Connectivity to the watch this time was so simple and straightforward. Literally took 30 seconds. And as you can see now, just scrolling through, loads of different watch faces available. So you can kind of really change the look and the personality of your watch. Select it, you can alter all the, um, the little uh, complications or hand colors, second hand colors, etc., etc. Then you just send it to the watch and it uploads literally in seconds there. So um, really uh, fair play to tag. They've really updated the app, which was I found particularly unfriendly and particularly unresponsive to something that now is super simple, super quick, uh, super sharp to use. So yeah, fair play. The interface has really, really come on. As I said, I use an Apple phone. Um, it may have always been like that with Android. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, it, it's dramatically come on. Loads of different settings available, either through the app or the watch itself. This is just the fitness one scrolling through. Strangely enough, looks very similar to Apple Apple products nowadays. Uh, it's almost as if they, they may have seen something that works and wanted to, to copy it, really. And then you can actually alter, if you don't have your phone to hand, you can alter your watch faces from the watch itself. And again, it's not just the faces that you can do. You can simply change the, the markers, the colors, the details, the various bits and pieces. You can do that from the watch as well as the app. And again, just showing you here really that everything that's accessible on the watch is also available on the app. So it's really easy to do, whichever one tickles your fancy, to be honest. Um, and equally, all the health data and all the information from the watch is, is very much available on the app. So yeah, decent, decent improvements all round, if I'm honest. What I also liked is the interchangeability of the watch. So yes, you can change your watch faces and look, but you can also change the straps as well. Showed you briefly earlier, it's literally just this easy, just a little slide clip there pop it down and free it from the watch and there you go and, and then you can really sort of change the persona of the watch by putting a different strap on i purchased a different color strap there you can see the box there beautifully held upside down by me awesome um but yeah a different color strap really changes the personality of the watch and gives you a bit of bit of variance which 
actually for a really expensive watch it's it's something i quite value so that you can make it fit the circumstances you go and whether it be formal informal doing sports taking it to work whatever it is and i just think it's a, a really quick and easy addition um previously it was a bit more complicated with the other generations watches but certainly with the fourth gen it's so simple and again another decent improvement by tag if i'm honest So as well as the touch screen, you've got three buttons on the side. The top one takes you to the fitness specific apps or activity tracking, and then you can scroll through it with the crown in the middle or the touch screen settings. Press the middle to go home. The bottom one takes you to your fitness specific or your general day-to-day -day calorie burn and steps, etc. Again, you scroll through it. Uh, the crown in the middle, if you press that from the home, it takes you to all the apps and all the settings. Again, you can scroll up and down with the crown as I'm doing there, or indeed you can use the screen itself, which is um, really responsive nowadays, uh, as you can see. So it's um, really intuitive, feels very much like an Apple product, just with that premium brand of uh, tag associated to it. So, so far, all my issues and concerns have been addressed, but there is one area that frankly is still a little bit outstanding and a little bit crap, and that's the charging puck. So this is it here. Um, it, it itself is fair enough it's quite easy to do it's got three charging pins on it match it up to the three dots on the watch and off you go um it is magnetic but the magnets in it are just so weak it, it really can come unconnected really quite quickly uh, you will need to charge your watch up pretty much every night so it's a vital component and it just feels a little bit cheap and a little bit like they haven't really solved that problem properly but other than that, the watch itself, I really like it. Um, I wouldn't have bought it if I did. It is still expensive. There's no getting away from it. But it's a premium brand watch and it's a smart watch that I think they've improved the interface to a point where it, it does work for me now. So I'm just scrolling through now. So there's diff different faces, different things, just so you can have a look at it. Um, but I've got to say, I really like it. Um, and as previously, I didn't recommend it. Now, I'm really quite happy with it. If they could just work on that charging puck a little bit better, um, that, that would really improve it. I will have a look online to see if there's any third party products that might, might be a bit better. But other than that, um, if you are going abroad, I'd pick it up either in duty free or at your destination if it's cheaper. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed the review. Thanks.